In 1989-90 Kashmir, Islamic militants typhoon and banish Kashmiri Hindu pundits from the Kashmir Valley using the slogans Raleigh Gulib ya Chalib convert to Islam, go away or die, and Mustafa Bhatte Safak with God's grace entire Kashmiri pundit network will go away valley. Pushkar Nath Pandit, a instructor, fears for the protection of his son Karan, who has been accused by using the militants of being an Indian secret agent. Pushkar requests his pal Brahma Dutt, a civil servant, for Karan's safety. Brahma travels with Pushkar to Kashmir and witnesses the violence in opposition to Kashmiri Pandits. He's taking up the problem with the leader minister of Jammu and Kashmir, J or OK, who suspends Brahma. Militant commander Farooq Malik Bitta, also a former student of Pushkar, breaches Pushkar Nath's residence. Karan hides in a rice box however is discovered and shot via Bitta. Pushkar and his daughter-in-law Sharda plead for their lives. Bitta compels Sharda to eat rice soaked in Karan blood in change for his or her lives. After Bitta and his gang leave the house, Pushkar takes Karan to the sanatorium and requests his health practitioner buddy Mahesh Kumar to store Karan lifestyles. However, the clinic receives taken over by using militants, who forbid the clinic staff from treating non-Muslims. Subsequently, Karan succumbs to injuries from the gunshots. To make certain their protection, Pushkar and his own family are taken by means of their journalist pal Vishnu Ram to call, a Hindu poet who continues a cordial relationship with Muslims. Call takes in lots of pundits into his domestic but a collection of militants arrives to pick call and his son up beneath the guise of imparting safety. The rest of the pundits depart the vicinity however are later shocked to locate corpses of call and his son putting from trees. The refugee pundits from the Kashmir Valley settle in Jammu and stay on meager ration and in negative conditions. Brahma is appointed as a marketing consultant to the new governor of Jor Ok. At his request, the Home Minister visits the Jammu camps in which Pushkar needs the removal of Article 370 and the resettlement of Kashmiri Pandits. Brahma manages to get Sharda a government process in Nadimarg in Kashmir, and the circle of relatives actions there. One day a group of militants headed via Bitta dress up as individuals of the Indian Army and arrive at Nadimarg. They begin rounding up the Pandits residing there. Sharda resists when the militants get keep of her elder son Shiva. Angry Farooq strips her and saws her body in half up. He traces up Shiva and the last pundits and shoots them right into a mass grave. Pushkar is spared to spread the phrase approximately what occurred. In the cutting edge, Sharda's more youthful son Krishna is brought up through Pushkar. He believes that his parents had died in an accident. A student of Anu, a Krishna is beneath the impact of Professor Radhika Menon who is a supporter of Kashmiri separatism. Pushkar's pals Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, and police officer Hari Narain, who had served in Kashmir whilst Karan was killed, don't forget the events of Kashmir from their memory that Brahma calls a genocide. Krishna contests the Anu's student election. Following the recommendation of Professor Radhika Menon, he holds the government of India accountable for the difficulty of Kashmir, a whole lot to the anger of Pushkar. Later, when Pushkar dies, Krishna travels to his ancestral home in Kashmir to scatter the ashes in keeping with Pushkar's closing want. Menon asks Krishna to file a few footage in Kashmir to expose the authorities' meant atrocities. With the help of one of Menon's contacts, Krishna meets Bitta and accuses him of being accountable for the state of affairs of the pandits. But Bitta announces himself to be a brand new age Gandhi who has made a non-violent democratic motion. Bitta claims that it was the Indian army, who killed Krishna's mom and brother. Whilst Krishna questions Brahma approximately this declare, Brahma hands him newspaper cuttings amassed through Pushkar, which had said that militants disguised as Indian army soldiers killed them. Krishna returns to Delhi and gives his scheduled speech for the university presidential elections to a roaring crowd on the Anu campus. He elaborates on the records of Kashmir and the plight of his family and other Kashmiri Hindu sufferers that he perceived from his trip. That is shocking to his mentor Professor Menon and her other students. Krishna is then met with resistance and ridicule from students and an eventual include by means of some. Thank you for listening the story. Please like and subscribe for more stories.